my merrymakers and welcome to another work in progress Wednesday or whip Wednesday um I'm gonna be going over the current project that is with me in my car um there was no school today so this was the best time to do this which was while my daughter is doing her therapy for an hour um so what I'm doing is uh, the blanket that I did a tutorial on Monday. If you haven't seen that, um, please go back and view it, even though it's terrible editing. Because for some reason, my computer decided it did not want to launch its video editing software Monday evening. And uh, since I had just been in the car for a couple hours, um... I, I, I put up what I could. Um, I'm gonna repeat myself a little bit. Um, in that video, I mentioned that it's uh, the, it's called Snowflake Eyelet Baby Blanket. It is a pattern that I found on Ravelry. Um, I know that some people don't like Ravelry. I'm sure you can find a version of it elsewhere. Um, I am using I love this yarn metallic in white. I am using size 8 knitting needles. And it's a decent pattern. It's very well written. Um, I It's definitely for an intermediate uh, person who has been knitting for a little bit. Uh, which, that's what I feel like I am. I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination. Um, mainly because I had to look up what P2SSO was again, which is to pass the slipped stitch over. Um, I'm trying not to get too technical in case th there are non-knitters out there. The problem with this pattern is that a lot of the rows are the same. Um, so sometimes you can get comfortable and make a mistake. And I've just seen mistake. Where'd it go? Where half of my snowflake is moved over. And I'm not sure how to fix that. I'm actually not sure I will want to fix it, to be honest, because um, I need this blanket done by next week. Because um, that's when the baby shower is. Um... I'm probably not going to fix it. Who, you know, the person who is receiving this blanket, um, I'm, I'm not sure what her crafting knowledge is, but I'm sure she won't see it, or if she sees it, she, you know, she won't care. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is possibly changing the name of the channel. Um, I've talked about this before in another video, um, really didn't get any response from anybody. Uh, of course, my uh, I know I'm still very small, um, so I might not get a big response. But um, before Merry Maker, I was Happy Yarn Girl, and about um, but I felt like I was trapped just making yarns related things. I cannot talk today. Um, but I've been thinking about it more and more and I feel like Merry Maker is really generic and that I'm hard to find sometimes. So I thought about going back to Happy Yarn Girl. A little less generic, a little easier to find. Um, I've, uh, you know, that's what my, uh, Gmail is currently, and that's what my website is currently, even though I haven't seen much traffic on my website either. <sighs> um, because even though I do make non-yarn based stuff, it's very rare. Um, even the other time, the most recent thing that was the least yarny thing was making stitch markers, and that is still yarn based. So... 
I've thought about that. I've thought about Becca's Boutique. Um, but again, I feel like that's really generic. Um, I've thought about... Um, there's a term out there that's been thrown around for people who both knit and crochet. It's called by stitchel. Uh, thought about Becca's by stitchel. Um, didn't know if that would be offensive to those who are more conservative out there. And I know I'm just, um, I'm living out of other people's heads, but I, you know, trying to also make this a, a safe, happy place. I like the word happy. I, I my thing it, besides rainbows is is smiley faces. Um, so I always thought about. I, I also thought about the groovy stitch, but didn't know if that was <sighs> pigeonholing myself into things that were 60s, 70s related or not. So yeah, suggestions welcome. Um definitely on that um if i don't get a response by march 1st i'm probably just gonna pick happy yarn girl um and then come august i'm planning to get my llc and really turn this into hopefully a business maybe not a business that's booming but you know a business and um Hopefully I'm like, make less mistakes in the future. Um, not sure about what tutorial is going to go up on Monday, if a tutorial is going to go up on Monday. Um, yeah, so um, I got to admit, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling myself. Um, had kind of a rough weekend and has been, I've been, um, mentally and emotionally recovering from that. Um, I won't go into details, but just know that, um, this is not normal for me. I'm usually much more perky and, and upbeat. Um, and I've prattled on for way too long for this video. Anyway, um... If I think of something for Monday, there'll be a tutorial for Monday. Until then, make on.